Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and especially going into the holidays, I know that there is a lot of stress and I am definitely not one to speak as I've recently broken out in hives from my stress, but it was a wake up call to me to realize that I need to, need to, need to turn on my parasympathetic nervous system. So when I talk about the parasympathetic nervous system, it sounds really big and I mean, scary to a certain degree, uh, but we do wanna talk about your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic. So the way to think about these is you can kind of think about them like a car where the sympathetic nervous system is going to be the gas, always ready to rev up and go and to get us out of danger. In the parasympathetic nervous system, so it's referred to as SNS and PNS, the parasympathetic nervous system are the brakes to be able to calm you down because there's no more danger there. So um, both serve their purpose, but it's something that we do not want to have chronic stress. Chronic stress can have high blood pressure. It can cause a lot of disease and dysfunction for your body. So you want to mitigate and migrate a lot of that stress the most that you can. Um, so when it comes down to the sympathetic nervous system, it's great. You want it there because it helps you out of danger, but there's not as many life threatening things happening to us in today's day and age. Way back when it was any second that you needed to be ready to run away from a bear, from a lion, from from someone trying to scavenge, who knows what you're trying to get away from. In today's day and age, we don't need to have that fight or flight on all the time. It does turn on when we're training, but majority of the day, we want to switch out of fight or flight and switch into rest and digest, which is gonna be making sure your parasympathetic nervous system is flipped on. So ways to do that and to calm down are going to be to go for a walk. Now this kind of walk is not one that you're trying to burn calories or try to get your heart rate up. You're trying to keep your heart rate actually at 110 or lower. Being able to do this outside is actually very, very wonderful. Being able to get some vitamin D in and it's a great way just to calm down and focus on one thing. So when I go on walks, I either try to watch something that's enjoyable to me um, like a TV show, nothing that's going to force me to learn. I try not to do any work on these walks. Um, I love being able to do them outside, like I said, when it is warm enough, although right now it is definitely not the most pleasant to be outside for a longer amount of time. I also try to focus on being away from screens if I can help it, listening to soothing music, um, or making sure that I'm looking out and in front of me. Because when we walk, we have a tendency to look down. Um, so it's nice to be able to look up and refocus and retrain your eyes. Other ways of doing this is deep breathing, yoga, meditating, being able to focus on one thing. So there's a lot of guided meditation and not meditation in the way of I'm sitting here in silence, but more so in being more present with yourself. So grounding activities, taking a bath, um, listening to music, dancing that are all going to help turn on that parasympathetic nervous system. So outside of training, we want to make sure we are parasympathetic dominant as much as possible and another reason I mentioned that is like I said the holidays it is a time where there's a lot of stress a lot of things going on and not to mention in the middle of a pandemic so making sure that you're taking care of you um, you're making sure that your stress is managed to the best of its ability and some other tips going into the holiday season where you might be seeing family members that might not be the most considerate of how you feel is one being able to take kind of like a survival box with you so pack up some part of your suitcase with things that are going to help you calm down, whether that be some tea in there, your favorite book, a piece of chocolate, um, or maybe it is some tools to help calm you down as far as things to fidget with, whatever it may be, being able to have that box is helpful, but also being able to speak up for yourself. Speaking up for yourself is a form of self-care and it can help with stress as well. I mean, one person can only take so many comments, even if they're from family members or loved one. So making sure that you're very clear with your boundaries. So if someone makes a comment about your weight, what you're eating, what you're doing with your time, what you're doing with your life, who you're dating, whatever it may be, being able to phrase it back in a way of not just Aunt Susan, stop talking, but more so of Hey, I hear you, Aunt Susan. Thank you so much for speaking about that, but I would prefer if you speak in it in this way or don't bring it up again, whatever it may be, but setting boundaries is another way to really help with your stress and make sure you're parasympathetic dominant. So just some tips to go into the holiday season and to make sure that you are dominating the parasympathetic nervous system.